morning. Today we are going to try a beach club that I have always wanted to try. I followed them on Instagram for a really long time and anytime I see anyone go it looks amazing and it's called Terra Solis. It is a little bit far out, it's going to be about a half hour drive because it's more into the desert. It's honestly just like surrounded by sand, it's not in a built up area at all. We're going to go to Terra Solis Beach Club and I'm excited to take you guys along. As I said I've never been before but neither has Doug so he's kind of excited to check it out as well. It's been on our list for a while. The vibes there are super like desert, Egyptian, futuristic vibe. And because it's a newer beach club, it's super modern. It's got beautiful decor. And I think you guys are gonna love it. And I hope that I love it as well. Today, Doug and I went to Dubai Hills Mall. It's honestly one of our absolute favorite malls. We were going to the Roxy Cinema to do the Platinum Experience, which I'll show you in a second. But first of all, I did head to the Benefit Brow Bar to get my brows done. Even when I was back in Singapore, I've been going to Benefit for all my eyebrow needs for years now, and I'm always really happy with the results, and I love the salons. This was my after result. I got them laminated, tinted, and waxed, so they are looking nice and fresh. I then went to have some dinner at Wagamama. Wagamama is one of the only kind of UK chains we miss a little bit. We do think the food here is really nice, especially the ramen. But something that I thought was really cool is that the Wagamama here in Dubai actually does sushi as well, which is not the case for most Wagamamas around the world. Okay, time to show you our favorite cinema. This is the Roxy Cinema, and we were going to watch It Ends With Us. You can pay a bit extra and do a platinum experience, which gives you access to a lounge beforehand and some free snacks and a free drink. This is Doug getting annoyed at me because I didn't cheers him first. <laughs> you honestly feel like such a VIP when you choose this experience. They even have a games corner, and so Doug and I decided to play some pool while we were waiting for for our screen to be open. The screens are also very nice and feel very exclusive. All the chairs are heated sofa chairs and you have a lot of space around you. You don't feel cramped like in a normal cinema. There's also options to recline the leg rest and there's also a phone charger and it's just the comfier cinema. You guys, I did my first ever order from Noon and it literally just arrived. A lot of my friends who live in the UAE were kind of raving about Noon and saying it was really good. So I thought I'd give it a go and um, I'll show you everything I got. So this one is hilarious. As you can see, it's literally pseudocreme. <laughs> Not this big box for Sudacreme, uh, but I couldn't find it in my local supermarkets and so I just ordered it while I was on the website. I'm sure you can get it elsewhere, but I needed some more Sudacreme because I'd run out. This one, I can't quite remember. I think it should be. <gasps> yes. I have been desperate to try Celsius. Everyone is always raving about Celsius. And a girl came up on my TikTok saying she tried the grape flavor and she ordered it from noon and it was really good. So I've ordered the grape flavor. I'm excited to give that a go. And then this is some greens powder from a company called Ghost. Again, a lot of my friends back in Singapore were Aussie and they loved using Ghost and said it was really nice. So this is a greens powder and it's pink lemonade flavor. I really do like having a greens powder. And the company that I used back in Singapore doesn't ship to the UAE. So I was looking for something new and I found this. Oh my gosh, that is so heavy. <laughs> it's essentially like a healthy energy drink. This is a pack of 12. Because as you can see, it's like an energy drink, but it's super, super low calories. Literally only 10 calories. No fat, no sodium, no, no carbohydrates. Bit of calcium, vitamin C. It's got loads of vitamin B, biotin. Got some really great healthy stuff in it. But it feels like a bit of a like a fizzy drink, like you're having a bit of a cheat drink, um, but with none of the regret. Um, but there's lots of other flavors as well. I wouldn't usually go for grape, but that girl on TikTok, honestly, I can't remember who it was. She just came up randomly on my for you page, sold the grape flavor to me. The shipping was so fast. It literally arrived a day late. I only ordered this stuff yesterday. Um, let's not forget my pseudocreme. <laughs> 
and the driver left it right at my door. You can talk to your driver, you can change the delivery. I mean, and there's so much stuff on there and the prices were really good. So I, I would honestly compare it to Amazon. Let me know if you guys have tried Noon and if you like it, but there's a little haul for you. <laughs> Okay, this is future Hannah cutting in for a second, but I told you when I tried the Celsius, I would record my reaction. So we're gonna try it now. This is the sparkling grape rush flavor. Okay. This is my first time ever trying any Celsius. So I don't have anything to really to compare it to, but I will just see if the flavor's nice. Let's see. It's interesting. It kind of does taste like a fizzy drink and it tastes like it would be really sugary. So the fact that it's not, is kind of crazy. It really does taste like some of those like grape flavored fizzy drinks that you can get that are like, yeah, so sugary. So I'm actually so baffled that this is actually healthy because it doesn't taste like it would be. I'm gonna go for another sip. Yeah, I do really like that a lot. If you've tried any other Celsius flavors that you recommend, let me know and I'll definitely give those a go as well. Cause I saw they had loads of other flavors on noon, not just the grape. <laughs> I hope you like my little review. Happy Friday, everybody. So I don't really have any big plans today or much to vlog for you guys. So I thought it'd be the perfect opportunity for me to give you some apartment update. Obviously, as I mentioned before, once everything is fully furnished, which it's not quite yet, then I'll give you a full apartment tour, which I'm super excited to show you. But for now, I'll just give you the couple of kind of updates that I've got. To be honest, I have ordered Starbucks. Thank you. Yeah, thank you so much. Bye. Sorry, that was my Starbucks arriving. <laughs> Let me put the camera up a bit. Yeah, I got myself a Starbucks. We do have a gorgeous coffee machine. We have a lovely Nespresso coffee machine, but we're out of milk. <laughs> so I really wanted a coffee and I didn't want the bath. So, oh, look, they wrote, they wrote, have a great day. That's so sweet. My go-to coffee order right now is an iced vanilla latte. I'm just obsessed with it. It's just my absolute favorite now. And it never used to be, um, but recently it's been my absolute go-to. I am a good girlfriend, so I got one for Doug as well, but he typically, wait, I couldn't tell if Doug had been upgraded or if I had been cheated out of a venti because I ordered one venti and one grande and they're the same size. I think it might be two ventis to be fair. I think Doug may have been upgraded rather than me being cheated out and that's good because I needed my coffee this morning. <laughs> Doug is actually at the hairdresser. He's just within walking distance here in the creek. So he's just gone down to the hairdresser. And so I thought as well, while well, the apartment's quiet, it'd be a good time to show you. So I do have a two bedroom, two bathroom, gorgeous apartment. And then the kitchen living area is open plan. We actually have a stunning water view, but also a Burj Khalifa for view which is amazing because I feel like typically you either have a gorgeous sea view or you have a gorgeous skyline view so the fact that we have both and we can see the Burj Khalifa but also have a gorgeous water view feels really special and I feel really lucky to have that I try and get out on the balcony every day so on the topic of the balcony I think I mentioned in last week's video that we hadn't furnished it yet so we were trying to go out there as much as possible but we couldn't really sit out there. I'll insert a photo here, but some delivery guys came, they've set up all our furniture and now we have balcony furniture. So I thought I would show that to you. So let me take you outside. The camera might steam up a bit, so I'll try and sort it out and show you our furniture. Is it gonna steam up? Oh no, we might be okay. <laughs> so here is our lovely furniture. It's like a gray black rattan color with some light gray cushions and we absolutely love it. So we've got one kind of armchair over there, the sofa, another armchair, and then a table. So yeah, now we can look out to our gorgeous water view. And then as I mentioned over here, we can actually see the Burj Khalifa. This is one of the things that actually sold us on this apartment was the stunning view. And it makes me never want to leave this apartment or move because I just feel like we got so lucky with this. I don't know if you can tell, but our balcony is quite sandy. That's one thing that you probably wouldn't even think about. I mean, I didn't think about it. And then I just realized, of course, like we're in the middle of the desert, of course, things that are outside are gonna get sandy. We do have a cleaner who comes on Mondays. So she'll be coming in a couple of days and she always cleans the balcony for us. Initially, Doug was just booking cleaners every week kind of on Karim and just seeing who was available, which is amazing that you have that option because I never have had that before in Singapore or in London, of course, you can't just like book cleaners the day of on Karim. But then we decided like now that I'm here and we do need regular cleaning, we wanted to find one cleaner who would always come to us because of course then she knows the way we like things and we can build a bit of a rapport together and so we had a cleaner come last week and we loved her so we've booked her full time and now she's going to be coming every monday i want to have a bit of a relationship with my cleaner if that makes any sense like i want them to know me and dad start to have an idea of like where we like things in the apartment and hopefully i can maybe like buy her a little 
snacks and food things and things when she comes to clean so yeah i don't know i just i think it's nicer to have a cleaner that you know and can have a bit of a rapport with rather than a stranger coming every week and you're never really getting to know them i thought i'd show you a bit of our lounge area as well because this area is nearly fully furnished so this is our gorgeous couch this was actually the first thing we ever ordered for this apartment so it's quite special and it's so comfy it's like sitting on a cloud we honestly love it look who's back from their haircut <laughs> it actually looks really nice yeah I'm really happy with it. She always says not too short. So. I always say I'm not too short, but it's not. It looks really nice. Yeah. Are you happy with your coffee? Yeah, that was Surprise a nice you with the coffee. to come home to. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was showing them bits of our apartment and I was just saying how the lounge is coming together now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, we're almost there. Almost there. The pile over there. We're not even talking about oh, what's over there. Yeah. <laughs> Where did we get the rug from? Uh, home centre. Ah, oh, the rug was from home centre and then this table is from Ikea and we had it in our old apartment in London but in black and we ordered it again in white because it's got this feature where you can bring up this section and then it's really nice if you want to sit there and eat in front of the TV or just put drinks on there. We absolutely love this table, don't we? Yeah. And that's why when we saw it we thought, oh, we'll order that again. Uh -huh. So what do we still have left to do? Basically so, the spare room is not done the at spare all. Room, There's nothing everything in, in the spare room. Yeah, what else? Um, this, there's a table oh. behind the couch at the moment which we're using as a bit of a dumping ground yeah. and it's got loads of stuff on it and what we want to do is find a really nice sideboard to go in the corner over there. It really isn't it? Yeah that's it because we've got the outdoor stuff now. Yeah I showed I them that. Them. I did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that's it so it's the spare room and then the sort of, I forgot how they call it yeah. Like a sideboard? Like a, like a buffet. Yeah. I mean I will show you it is messy it, but this is what we're talking about this kind of area here we do need something to go along here some sort of cabinet or buffet as Doug's calling it yeah. to go on there but we've also started to pick up other furnishings that we want to go on the sideboard like we love these little candles we pick this up in H&M when we love it but that's it really not too much to kind of show you just yet as I said there will definitely be a full apartment tour at some point but things are starting to come together which feels really really nice hi everyone so this is actually my first time wearing makeup in Dubai by, so let's hope that it holds. I am going to Ula, which is at Duke's The Palm, on, at, of course, on The Palm, um, to have some brunch with a friend. So I just got a Karim over, and I'm just here now, I'm just walking to the restaurant. I got dropped off at Duke's. It was a lovely hotel, Duke's, but so busy. Um, but I think I'm here at Ula now. <music> I just got back from a fabulous brunch at Ula and I also popped to a big skincare and beauty sale so I thought I'd do a little haul and show you everything that I picked up. So firstly I went to Ula and I went with my friend Georgia and the food was lovely, the vibes are lovely as well. It's actually at Duke's The Palm, as I kind of briefly mentioned. And yeah, we had a really nice little brunch and a catch up. That was actually my first time ever meeting her. It's really nice that I'm starting to like make friends in Dubai now. Then once we finished brunch, she was like, I'm actually heading to this beauty and skincare sale. Do you want to come? And I was like, no way, I've seen it and I was going to go tomorrow. So yes, let's go together today. It was at a place called Retold. I can't remember the exact location. So let me have a quick check. In Al Quaz, Q-U-O-Z. I feel like I'm not saying that right. Al Quaz. Alquaz. Maybe that sounds a little bit better. So yeah, I was in a place called Alquaz and I think it's only open for like three days. I think tomorrow is the last day. So by the time you see this, unfortunately it would have been closed. But do check them out because if they do any more sales like this in the future, it's absolutely worth it. So many goodies. They had brands like Tatcha, Anastasia Beverly Hills, Summer Fridays. And obviously sometimes beauty and skincare can be quite expensive and it's stuff that I'm interested in. I love makeup, I love skincare. So when you can save on it, it's always a plus. <laughs> so I'll start with this item, which is the biggest one but probably the one that I saved the most money on as well. So this is a big Tatcha set and inside you get the Camellia cleansing oil, the deep cleanse and the silk cream. Let me just open it up and show you. So that's everything that you get inside and usually this would retail for a lot more than I spent, let me tell you that. While we're on the theme of Tatcha, I also picked up this one. And in this one, you get the rice polish and the water cream, and the water cream people are always raving about. And I've never actually tried it. 
So when I saw that you got this little water cream with it, I thought I had to give it a go. I also picked up a Summer Fridays overnight mask. Georgia, my friend that I was with, we both had our eyes on Summer Friday products, so we both actually ended up picking up a mask. This one is supposed to be more of an exfoliant mask and it's good for decluttering your pores, congested skin. Again, Summer Fridays is another brand I'm always keen to try stuff from. I picked up an Hourglass foundation brush. My foundation brush is definitely at the end of its life, so I was actually really happy that I found this one and picked this one up. I then also picked this up. It's an even tone serum, and it's from a brand I've never heard of. I'll leave them written on the screen because I'm not even gonna try and pronounce it. Daily serum that corrects uneven pigmentation, dark spots, sun damage, and I was actually looking for a new serum, so I thought, why not pick I like up, up a new brand while I'm there. Again, I'm always keen to try new things. Everything else I got is now Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I'll start with this, which I picked up this um, full and feathered brow kit. And I was so happy to find this because I use Anastasia Beverly Hills brow products. So to find them at a discount like this is always a plus. So on the topic of that, I did pick up a second <laughs> brow freeze just on its own. It was only 30 dirhams. So I was happy to pick that one up. I then also picked up a cream bronzer and one of the ladies who was working the sale came past and was like hey i just found that we have like one cream bronzer left do you want it so sweet i don't know why she chose me but i'm glad she did and lastly i have some eyeshadows so i just picked up four eyeshadows and then they gave me a little free palette to put them in so i can basically make my own eyeshadow palette and these were five dirhams which is just so cheap so i kind of went for like a brownie kind of vibe so i um, don't know how well they're gonna show up now but i've got like a brown color then like a shimmery orange brown then a orangey brown that's probably not showing at all and then as the last one i just went for like a light toned shimmer four of those plus this and i've made my little eyeshadow palette a bit of a hectic experience it was very busy in there of course but everyone was so sweet and polite obviously all the spaces were quite tight and everyone's trying to like get the good products but a couple of times, if anyone did bump into me or anything, they were always like, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, and everyone was like chatting and talking about products they like. And some ladies would come up and say like, oh, I saw you have like a summer Fridays mask. Where did you find that? Like, I got mine over there, like, you know, just helping each other out. And yeah, I went for a lovely brunch. So today's been a really nice day. And I'm starting to feel, you know, a bit more, bit more settled in Dubai. I'm starting to make friends and go and do more things. Today's the last day that's going to be included in this weekly vlog. Today is Saturday and I'm not really doing much tomorrow. And so I thought tomorrow I'll just hustle down and edit this video and get it up for you so i do hope you have enjoyed this video seeing the kind of week in my life as i start to find my feet and settle in dubai and go and do more things explore more of this beautiful city that i now call home and i hope you enjoy my little weekly vlog if you guys have any questions or any videos you'd like to see from me then do let me know down below and i'm going to continue to keep making videos for you guys and i hope that you love them so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video